Welcome back to Vegas. It's Dave Las Vegas, and you're watching Vegas Elite TV. In this video, we're celebrating my birthday at one of the best all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurants in the Las Vegas Chinatown area. They serve Kobe beef. And what is Kobe beef, you might ask? It's a Wagyu beef from a Japanese black cattle raised in Japan. It's a delicacy valued for its flavor, tenderness with a fatty, well-marbled texture. So I've been to quite a few Korean barbecue restaurants in the Las Vegas area, and these guys specialize in top shelf Kobe beef. Plus it's all you can eat, we had a blast. It's my birthday, so I went to the Paris Casino's Eiffel Tower. It's half the size of the real Eiffel Tower, but it's pretty damn close to the real thing. Plus, Paris is actually my mother's name, so it's definitely symbolic to me. I went to the Vegas Eiffel Tower because I wanted to experience that view. It's not just great. This view is incredible. Not to mention, we saw the sunset, and it was breathtaking. I was hanging with my younger daughter and she enjoyed the incredible views as well. And one of the coolest things to catch while you're up here is to watch the world famous Bellagio Fountain Show. And yes, I'm a local, so I've seen this show hundreds of times. But to watch this show 500 feet at the top of the Vegas Eiffel Tower, breathtaking. My daughter's in utopia right now. The view's incredible. It's well worth 24 bucks. It's like $24.50 for adults. Kids 4 to 12 pay $19.50. And actually, it used to be free to go up here on your birthday, but they stopped that after COVID. But yeah, it's a great view. If you're celebrating your anniversary or honeymoon, you could take some really nice romantic pics up here. So now we're leaving the Las Vegas Strip and we're heading to Chinatown. And yes, we do have a Las Vegas Chinatown area. We're headed to a spot called 888 Korean Barbecue. One thing that I love about the Vegas Chinatown area, it's not just Chinese. You got Korean, you have Filipino, Thai food, Vietnamese food, and you can experience all that and so much more when you come to the Las Vegas Chinatown area. And yes, we are finally here. They have three separate menus. The first is the Black Angus menu. It's in the $25 range, and it's pretty good. When you go down here, you see your meats, ribeye steaks, your pork belly, uh, beef bulgogi. You can't forget about beef brisket. Gosh, garlic shrimp, chicken, squid, octopus. And you're cooking all these meats on your own personal grill. This is what I love about Korean barbecue. Now, the premium prime menu, $31.95. You're paying a little bit more, but you're getting more uh, sushi. You're getting more seafood, salmon, pokey, spicy tuna, oysters. Their oysters are actually really good. Uh, shrimp tempura, sweet corn cheese, uh, fried dumplings, and the list goes on and on. It's so good. Now we go down to their meats. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Filet mignon, limit one per person. Ribeye steak, limit one per person. But if it's four of you guys, you get four ribeye steaks. Life is good. So that's the prime menu. Let's check out Kobe style menu. This is what we're ordering. $42.95 per person. You get all your, your sides, but you get Kobe, uh, different Kobe beef selections. So of course you get your shrimp tempura, your edamame, all your seafood, including your oysters, your salmon pokey, your spicy tuna, and the list goes on and on. Once you get down to your beef, it's top shelf all the way down. Kobe beef, that is the best. It's incredible. Limit one per person. Kobe brisket, you can get as much as you want. All you can eat. Kobe beef belly, same thing. It's all you can eat. Uh, barbecue sampler pork belly. You get more quality stuff here. Um, you get your Kobe fatty ribs, and that's Kobe, so it's the top shelf. So that's what we're here for. So here we are. We're celebrating my birthday. I had to take a shot of soju, and we're ready to eat. If you guys have never experienced Korean barbecue, you're in for a treat. You get your meats on your table. All this is top shelf. I got pokey. I have oysters. That's the beef ribeye. Ribeye is definitely one of my favorite steaks spicy chicken so good and we have so many more meats to cover we're just getting started 
can get you some vegetables, put it on the grill. It's really good. All right, here's some more marinated chicken. Looks good. Check out this shrimp. Tell me that shrimp doesn't look good. Mm, nice. All right, here's some nice marinated pork. And one thing about Korean barbecue, these guys marinate their meats with a lot of flavor. This is what I love about Korean barbecue. Ooh, the spicy octopus. I'm excited to try that out. And here goes the pork belly. Looking good. And of course, last but not least, we have Kobe beef belly and Kobe beef brisket. Everything looks so good. And how can I forget about this delicious Kobe beef? The Kobe beef is their signature dish. I got a side of pokey, my oysters, we have tons of meat, and what's cool, it's included with the all you can eat. So Shanice is grilling the spicy chicken right now. We're just getting started. Throw some brisket on that grill. Looks delicious. And this is what I love about Korean barbecue. You're grilling the meats, you're bonding with your family. You're having a good time. My daughter October is in Utopia right now. So we have ribeye on the grill and that spicy octopus on the grill as well. When you grill octopus, it expands. Pretty cool. They give you scissors so you can cut your meat. All right, we're not messing around here. It's time to eat. First things first, I'm trying their oysters. Mmm, it's actually really good. I freaking love oysters. So we got the meats on the grill. And what I love about the fact that you can get a lot of seafood, they have pokey. Mmm, all right, it's actually pretty good. So far, so good. All right, let's try spicy octopus. A little sriracha on that bad boy. Mmm, it's actually really good. Now, I can't forget about the ribeye. Looks good. Throw some sriracha on that bad boy. Let's eat. Mmm, that ribeye actually has a lot of flavor. Very good. We haven't even scratched the surface yet. We have so many more meats to cook. We got the spicy chicken on the grill right now. Looks delicious. Shanice is dropping my chicken, but hey, nothing goes to waste here. Everything is so good. Look at that. That's the beef bulgogi. Looks really good. Throw some sriracha on that bad boy. Mmm, so good. Beef bulgogi is a staple to Korean barbecue restaurants. It's definitely one of the most popular items people order when they have Korean barbecue. I gotta try some more spicy octopus. It's so good. Mm. Everything's actually really good. Now let's try some of that spicy chicken. Throw some sriracha on that bad boy. Over the lips, through the tummy. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. Mmm. It's actually really good. All right, some more ribeye. Hey, I'm not disappointed. Everything's good. Now our waitress kind of disappointed me a bit. She just didn't come to the table often, didn't ask us if we would need anything. When we needed her, we couldn't find her. Now, she was busy, but, you know, it is what it is. But the food is really good. That's the Kobe beef. That's what I'm talking about. That's the signature they, they have. We got the pork belly to the left, the Kobe beef to the right. Look at that Kobe beef looking delicious. This is the best item on the menu, hands down. It actually has a nice, like, buttery flavor to it. So good. They set this up next to our grill, so we're making tofu. It's soft tofu soup. Oh, man, this right here is a staple. I've had a lot of Korean barbecue. Been to a lot of Korean barbecue restaurants, but this right here is so bomb. So now we have the garlic shrimp on the grill looking delicious. Shanice drizzled some lemon on these bad boys. Looks good. So we're working with some vegetables, shrimp, and some pork. You know what, guys? This is the reason why I love Korean barbecue. You control how you want your meats. If you want medium rare, if you want medium, if you want well done, you control the temperature. Hey, my shrimp looks amazing right now. And you know what? We're not stopping. I have a full plate here. We're going to keep this celebration going. All right, now I'm working with the beef bulgogi. This is the staple right here in Korean barbecue. All right, y'all, so now I'm reminiscing. The first time 
I was introduced to Beef Bulgogi. It's a friend of mine I worked with at the time. I told her we were going out celebrating a birthday party, going to a Korean barbecue restaurant, and she said, try the Beef Bulgogi. I said, okay. So the first time I tried the Beef Bulgogi, I was hooked. I think I ordered a couple of rounds. In fact, I probably got full off eating the Beef Bulgogi by itself. But their Beef Bulgogi is on point. And the shrimp, that shrimp was delicious. It's a garlic shrimp, so it definitely has a nice flavor to it. Throw some sriracha on that bad boy. Mm, delicious. It's all you can eat anything. If you're not a big seafood fan, skip it. Go for the steak. They have plenty of steak, uh, filet mignon, Kobe beef, uh, the ribeye. Actually, their ribeye is really good. Ribeye is definitely one of my favorite steaks. So pork belly to the left, ribeye to the right, pokey, oysters, everything was good. That pokey was incredible. All right, y'all, moment of truth. We're getting down to the last round. Your boy's getting full. But check out that cheesy corn right here. It is delicious. You got the mozzarella cheese all over that delicious corn. And Shanice said it was really good. All right, so now they're bringing some of that cheese rangoon. Although, I'm too full. I'm pretty much done. So overall, we had a great time. The food, the ambiance, everything was on point. I wish our waitress was a little bit more efficient. But, you know, at the end of the day, everything that we wanted came to the table. The best thing they have on the menu is the Kobe beef. I highly recommend it. All right, guys and gals, that about wraps it up for today. If you're new to my channel, make sure you all subscribe to my page. But most importantly, hit that notification bell so you guys are updated as soon as I post new video. And y'all have a great day.